Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing and in today's video I want to talk about the difference between Wix Studio and the Wix Editor. I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately on YouTube and I want to answer a few other questions that I've been getting to help you know which editor that you're in. So this is the Wix Studio Editor here and one of the bit fastest ways you can tell that you're in the Wix Editor is the devices at the top. So it has desktop, tablet, and mobile, and it has three different devices that you're going to be designing for. Whereas in the Wix editor, you only have two. You have a desktop and a mobile. So the other thing that will give it away pretty quickly on which editor you're in is the navigation up here at the top. In the Wix editor, you have these different tabs up here that drop down to different things. So sites and settings and dev mode and hire professional and help. In Wix Studio, you don't have those things. Those things are actually hidden in a hamburger menu here in the top left, and they drop down like this. So this is the site one, the tools one, the view one, and they are different. That's one important thing to understand is the Wix Studio editor is different than the Wix editor. Wix Studio comes with more design flexibility and it's a more advanced editor. So you have all these fields over here on the right hand side that you don't really have in uh, the Wix editor. You have them, but they're not laid out this way. You know, you have this toolbar here in the Wix editor and uh, you have these things over here on the left. So they share some similarities in the way that they look, but uh, they uh, are pretty different in what they can do. For example, this is how you add elements in the Wix editor and you have all these drop downs and things. This is how you add elements in Wix Studio. So they have their quick add, but they also have all these sections that you can add here. So hopefully that helps to figure out uh, which editor you're in. If you're confused on which one you're in, uh, that's what I would, would look for is the devices and the navigation at the top. Um, the other thing is, is the dashboards of these different tools actually look really similar. And I think this is where the confusion is coming from. This is the dashboard for Wix Studio, for example. And it's got all these different things here on the left. Now my dashboard is black because I am already in Wix Studio. Yours might be white. But the Wix editor dashboard you can see here looks almost identical to the Wix Studio one. And that's because Wix Studio and the Wix editor both sh share the same dashboard functionality. And um, the back end features of Wix are the same across, across both systems. So you have uh, all these different tabs over here. These are actually the same between Wix Studio and Wix Editor. There's a couple of differences, but for the most part, they are the same. So one other question that I've been getting pretty often has to do with the Wix apps, and I wanna talk about that as well. So you can see over here, I have a couple of apps that I can click on. So I have online programs, and I have a blog, and I have a video library. And if I go to my catalog, because I have Wix bookings enabled, I have booking services. Now you'll also notice when I open up my catalog, I have store products in here. That's because I have the e-commerce uh, online store app enabled for this website as well. But if we look at this website's dashboard, the Wix Studio one, you can see I don't have all those things. I don't have a blog. I don't have an online programs app. And if I open up my I don't even have the catalog app. <laughs> um, and I do have the video library one, and I do have a couple of things, but uh, some of these things aren't showing up here because I haven't added them to my Wix website yet. So the way you do that is you go to the apps and then app market, and then in here you're gonna have all these different apps. So you have third-party apps and you have the apps that come from Wix. So these are the Wix business solutions. And these are some of the things that I'm talking about. The Wix stores, the Wix blog, the Wix members area, Wix bookings, Wix online programs, and Wix pricing programs. So in order to get these to show up on your site, you have to click into the app you want, and then you have to click add to site. And then it will go in and will add the app to your site on the back end. And then you also have to go and configure it on the front end 
to put in the different design requirements and settings that you want. So if you see something in one of my videos or other videos on YouTube, but you don't see the same tabs in your dashboard, that's probably why, because you haven't added the app yet uh, to your website. Most of the Wix uh, business solutions, I th in fact, I think all of them are free. And then some of these other apps that are in here from third parties are paid apps. But that's how you go in and you add the app. You have to add it here. It'll add here on the back end first, and then you go to the front end and finish installing it there. So the last thing I want to address is just how do you get to these different places? If you're starting brand new, if you're new to Wix, if you've never built a website before. So the way that you get here is you go to Wix.com. And if you're on Wix.com, by default, you're going to be on the Wix editor, the more basic editor. And so if you go to log in or get started here, that's the kind of website builder you'll have access to. But if you want to use Wix Studio, which has the more advanced design, design features and other features, you have to click on this Wix Studio tab here. And then this is the home page for Wix Studio. And you can kind of see that same editor we were just looking at is shown here. So if I click log in or start creating from this tab, by default, I'm going to be using Wix Studio. So that's how you get here is you just go to Wix.com and then you pick the different editor that you want. You go to Wix Studio or if you want to use the Wix editor, then you just log in or get started from here. Okay, so the other thing is uh, if you already built your website in Wix editor, like this one, let's say that I want to move this over to Wix Studio. Is it possible for me to just move this over to Wix Studio? The answer is no. Right now it's not possible. If I want to have this same website in Wix Studio, I have to go in and build it in the Wix Studio editor. I can't just transfer it over. And the reason for that is because they're very different website editors with different functionality and design capabilities and constraints. So you can't just transfer one website to the other. The same is true if I wanted to take this Wix Studio website and transfer it back to a Wix editor website. I also can't do that right now. I have to go in and build, rebuild the same exact website in the Wix editor. So you can't transfer them. So if you've already started on one, if you've already started in the Wix editor, but you want to move to Wix Studio, you just have to start from scratch. And the same would be true if you want to go from Wix Studio to the Wix editor. You have to start from scratch. Um, so hopefully that helps answer a few questions, clarify a few things about the differences between Wix Studio and the Wix editor, at least identifying which one you're in and then how to add the different apps to your website and then how to get to these different places from Wix.com, either Wix.com for the editor or the Wix Studio tab for Wix Studio. Um, I like both of these editors. Uh, I like Wix Studio, I like the Wix editor, and I like the Wix ecosystem, the Wix business solutions and how Wix functions and, and how it's priced. I really like everything. That's why I build the majority of the websites that I build for clients on Wix. And I love that you can make something completely custom in either editor, in the Wix Studio editor or the classic Wix editor. You can build something completely custom and start from a blank canvas. And I love that about both of these editors. And there's not really time in this video to talk through all the different features of Wix Studio versus the Wix editor because they do have different things that they can do. And I would say different strengths and weaknesses. For example, one of the things with Wix Studio that's really hard for people is it's pretty advanced and there's a learning curve to get used to it. And I experienced that same learning curve myself, which is exactly why I created this Mastering Wix Studio course, which shows you how to build professional Wix Studio websites step by step. It's because when I first started with Wix Studio, it was not easy for me to use. And there's still some times today that I run into something that isn't easy for me to figure out. It just takes a, a long time and sometimes it takes me a few hours to figure out a certain change that I want to make but I've come to really like Wix Studio over time I've gotten used to it and I've learned how to use it and so this course is all about how to build websites step by step using Wix Studio um, and the goal of this is to help people 
not make the same mistakes that I made, help you not make the, the same mistakes that I made. So um, it's been really fun to see that there's already 80 plus students from 31 plus different countries in the course. That's been one of the things that's been really exciting to me. Uh, and I think more and more people are getting interested in Wix Studio, wanting to create um, more advanced websites, and this is the way to do it through Wix's ecosystem. So if you want to learn how to build Wix Studio websites step by step, uh, you can look, you can check out this course. There's over four hours of video content, and uh, the curriculum kind of shows you the the step by step process of what you'll learn and how long each video is. I don't currently have a course for the Wix editor, how to build websites here, but I've built a lot of websites using the Wix editor because Wix Studio is still pretty new. And so a lot of the websites that I built uh, in the past for clients have been built on this editor. And it's something that I still use and a lot of my clients are still on this editor. I haven't moved them to Wix Studio just yet. Um, I haven't even moved my own site to Wix Studio just yet. And there's reasons for that. But uh, there's a lot of good things you can still do with the Wix editor. So I might do a course at some point on how to build websites with this editor in particular, um, because I think it also has some strengths. I love how simple it is to use. Um, and even though you can't customize it as much, I actually do like the simple um, desktop and mobile layout. It just works. You, 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 what you see is what you get. And sometimes with Wix Studio, that's not always the case. You have to configure a few things to get it to actually work in a responsive design on all, all devices. So I hope that helps to clarify a few things. Um, most of the content I create is Wix Studio. So if you want to follow along on YouTube, uh, then you want to be using the Wix Studio editor. Um, and if you want to switch, like I said, you might have to start from scratch, which is unfortunate, but going forward, you wouldn't have to start from scratch every time. All right, well, I hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video.